and this is Abraham once again with one more flash CS4 tutorial on an action script and today we will be adding volume controls to the music played on lesson 29 this is lesson 30 for this we'll be placing two triangles on stage and once we have these triangles they'll be converted into symbols symbols can be movie clips they can be buttons one will be the up volume up button and one will be the volume down then we'll be listeners once we have instance names and we're ready to go let's copy this triangle and let's paste in place meaning on top of the original and we have two triangles and using the feed transform tool let's rotate we have one pointing up one pointing down and they will soon be transformed into buttons Looks okay to me. Let's place on the center. Perhaps this will help uh, scene and time to transform them into symbols. Let's double click to make sure we grab not only the fill but the line as well. And let's give a name to a symbol. Now, note a name, a symbol name is not an instance name. To access objects on ActionScript, we need instance names. So for this we'll name this triangle down underscore button. The underscore button enables code hinting. Code hinting is when you press a dot on the notepad you see a drop down with all the methods, all the properties and is very useful and avoids a lot of uh, spelling mistakes. So uh, it's always a good idea whenever you have a uh, instance it could be underscore txt it could be underscore mc for movie clip and since we added two buttons to our stage uh, underscore btn that's how we access um, these items through action script this is our movie looks okay to me let's move on to the script let's move on to our script the script you see here comes from lesson 29 so if you need to know where are we coming from, welcome to drop by, visit uh, lesson 29 when we created a music player. Now you'll be introducing now to a new type of class and it's called a sound transform. Sound transform is a container for sound properties. So if you have a controller and we want to assign a new volume level, I can always tell Flash, you know what? Take the properties from the sound transform and put into the controller. And this variable volume control we created is the container, is the variable that we'll be using to handle the volume level. And that's pretty much by nature, it has to be between 0 and 1. We cannot change that. That's built in Flash and uh, we always have to check if it does not exceed one or goes below zero we'll be doing this in a second and we created two buttons each one of the buttons we have on stage they have their own unique instance names and um, we have to add event listeners the event listener will fire will call a function every time they are clicked in uh, each one of them we will either raise or lower the volume level so that's what we are coding right now in case there is a vent of mouse click on our button go to the volume up function the volume up function does not exist yet so if you run the code right now we we'll get a error message and now let's do the same for the down button and let's let's add an event listener but down button is going to call a different function. It's called the volume down. Very similar, but instead of increasing, it's going to lower. Time to move on. Let's create our functions. Yes, functions can be on any place on the script. Flash scans the document whenever the function is called. It doesn't matter if it is in the beginning or the end. It's good practice to have at the beginning. So when coding starts, you know what each function is supposed to do exactly. Volume up. Very simple. Every time that somebody clicks that button, volume control dot volume is a property. Goes up, 
equals volume control dot volume plus 0 0.1. Now we know that by definition a uh, sound transform can only go uh, the volume can only go up to one. So we have to check if it's not above one. And if it is, we have to put it down, put it back down. So that's our condition over here. Volume dot volume control dot volume. If happens to be more than one, more than one, uh, please, you know what, assign one as its value. We don't want that above one. It should not be over one. It distorts the sound. We want that to be clean. We want to be no more than one. Uh, don't forget the semicolon because end of statement. Now let's close the curly, break, curly brackets and uh, now let's assign let's assign the new sound volume the volume new volume level to our controller very simple controller we already defined the controller on the previous lesson and the controller dot sound transform we're going to have the same value as the volume control which is a sound from transform class that's what it is uh, only three lines four lines very easy simple code and let's copy and paste for the volume down copy and paste because it's very similar after all in case volume down is clicked we are going to decrease the value by 0 0.1 of our volume control dot volume property and uh, we check if it is not below zero and then we're going to apply same procedure only decreasing instead of increasing um, say dash web.com currently has uh, over four thousand thousand unique visitors every month they come for the tutorials they copy the code the code is posted for free on the site uh, extensively documented Let's check. Our syntax is a small error over here because of the greater than sign. Uh, it's typing a test with this code before, and uh, actually, we have also to assign. If you click the play here, a narrow message shows over there. And the reason is we created a transform variable called volume control, but in ActionScript, Although variables are created, they don't have a default value, and we have to assign a value. In our case, no no value was assigned for um, this volume control, and that's what we'll be doing now. We're borrowing. Uh, uh, the controller has a sound transform property, and we will assign this to the volume control, which belongs to the same class. This time should work. Let's test our movie. And let's take the face of the sound increases and stops. You can check here if you're watching this video from my website. Uh, you can see the video. Thanks for watching my tutorial. You can send your suggestions, questions, or remarks. And I hope it helps. Thank you very much.